Hello everyone. So I thought I'd start off our unit on vector graphics with talking about the difference between Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop. They both are used to make graphics but they are very different programs and they make those uh, graphics in very different ways. Uh, like there's Android and there's Apple. There are two different kinds of graphics. Adobe Illustrator works with vector graphics Here's the sample that I created in order to kind of demonstrate those differences. Vector graphics are made with formulas. You don't have to worry about entering the formulas. You can use tools that look very much like what's in Photoshop or any other drawing program. But these circles here and these lines are actually triangles, very thin, long, pointed triangles. They are drawn with formulas. So if I zoom in on something, and this is viewed at 100% right now, so if I click Control plus and I zoom in, you can see that it simply redraws the circle with that new radius on the screen. I'm going to continue to zoom in and you can see there's a very tiny blue circle that is now large and there's actually one more really, really small circle right down here at the very bottom. This is as far as I can zoom in. You can see it's 64,000 percent but all of the lines, all of the edges are still perfectly smooth and everything comes to a very sharp point in the middle here. Now I can turn this into a JPEG because this is an Adobe Illustrator file. We would have to export the graphic in order to be able to use it as a JPEG. And we do that with File Export. And you can choose from a number of different options. Um, a lot of times we will want to go to the actual Photoshop format, but we're going to make this into a, two JPEGs. And the reason we're going to make two of them is that we get to choose the resolution that this is made at. And it's done in PPI, pixels per inch. Now the defaults here are 72 for screen resolution. That's what you actually see on the monitor in front of you. And then you can go up from there. So let me make a screen resolution export. I will just keep the quality up to maximum. And RGB red, green, blue is the format, coloring format for JPEGs. Let me click OK. And that's going to create one of them. And then I'm going to create another one. And this one, I'm going to ramp up the number of pixels per inch that it is going to uh, feed into there. 1200 zero, zero PPI. I'll put that in there this time. And I can actually type it in. And this number, you can type in basically anything that you want. Uh, there are some limits to how big these files can go. But at 1,200 pixels per inch, it actually has to do a little work. And this is called rasterizing. It's taking the mathematical formulas that it's drawing on the screen and turning them into pixel by pixel what a JPEG graphic would be. So now I've got those two graphics open over here. You can see this is the 72, uh, I put dots per inch, but pixels per inch. And this is viewed at 100%, just like the Adobe Illustrator one. But as soon as I start zooming in, I'm now at 200%, you can see the pixelation begin because these pixels are now frozen into position. And if I go in, not even to maximum here, 3200%, uh, percent, you can see very, very pixelated. Now, if I look at this other graphic, it looks very similar, but notice I'm viewing only 6% uh, magnification. So when I start to zoom in, it still looks really, really good. So we've made a very large graphic out of this. But we will reach a limit. Now we're, that's 100%. So the pixels look good. But as soon as we go to 200, they start to break apart. You can start seeing the little blocks. And there's that tiny, tiny circle in the middle. We can still see it. But it is not anything like the Adobe Illustrator version. Let's take a look at those two files here. Here's the sample graphic. And this one is the 72. It's 112 kilobytes versus 3.6 megabytes here. Let me go ahead and add the dimensions column. And you can see that this one here is a moderately sized graphic at 1,006 by 510. When I put that at 1,200 pixels per inch, 16,741 by 8,482. 
So we have control over what the JPEGs are going to look like when we export them, and Illustrator just keeps all the formulas and makes them ready to be exported that way. So the kind of graphics that you see made with vector graphics here are a lot of times logos and packaging art, what you see on your candy bars and whatnot. Those are done with vector graphics because they make different size candy bars and they want it to look good at any different size, including billboards. It doesn't matter how large you want to make your final uh, graphic. You can do that with vector graphics and never lose quality. And that's the basic difference between those two. We're going to be learning how to create these. So I'll start off with showing you how I made this one right here. 